County. Heavy snow warnings continue for the suburbs of Atlanta on the north and west. Snow advisories on the east and south sides of metropolitan Atlanta. And the snow is going to continue to fall during the day with strong and gusty winds. The winds may blow 20 to 30 miles an hour and higher than that as this low continues to track up along the coast. Snow has been falling today from the Pensacola area in Florida all the way to New York City. And we have snow outside now, of course, WSB Studios. And Jeff Dorr is now outside standing live at the... Um, uh, Georgia Power Command Center. I understand that power is now out to a lot of the folks in the metro area. Jeff, what can you tell us? Well, they, uh, one of their spokesmen called this the mother of all storms. It is unbelievable. The wind you were talking about uh, is making it literally hard to keep your footing out here. It's blowing so hard. They have said so far, you know, they estimate 60,000 people out, but he said, frankly, it's got to be a lot more than that. They have, they know of 60,000 people out, but it's going out so fast in so many places, they are saying that it's just, you might just as well expect your power to go out at some point today. It is going to be happening more and more around Metro Atlanta. They lost a major transmission line. One of those big cross country lines you see on the, on the real high metal towers, you know, down around Valdosta, that far south. Uh, and I'm about to lose some hats here. I guess I lost something. Uh, and, and they don't even know exactly where it went down yet. They can't get a helicopter up in this weather to find out where it went down. So they're having trouble uh, figuring out how to reroute that power. So that is a major headache. They put crews up around Rome uh, yesterday to get them in position. They're in position, but you know, they just can't get to where they need to be. So this is a big headache for Georgia Power. Uh, down here on Peachtree Street in downtown Atlanta, this is awful. <laughs> um, we've seen modern buses come by, so there is transportation. We're seeing cars that are having a lot of trouble getting any traction to drive around. It is horrible conditions. And uh, frankly, we're getting real cold out here, so we're going to toss it back to Karen. Well, Jeff, you need to go inside and get warm and stay out of that. Uh, I guess it's going to take the crews a considerable amount of time to, to get the power back on these places. It could be um, I guess until tomorrow at some time, we'll keep you posted on that. And Jeff needs to get inside and out of the wind. Just by watching Jeff standing outside in all that strong wind should be a good clue to you not to go outside. And the snow looks awfully inviting as it's falling out in your yard. But the winds are going to be so strong today that it is not a good idea to try to even walk outside, and much less drive. The roads are going to be very, very slick. Winds will be gusting 20 to 30 miles an hour and higher. There are reports that we, we might see in the, some of the forecast models indicate as high as 50 or 60 mile an hour wind gusts. That means any snow that is falling down is going to be blowing and drifting, and it's going to be almost impossible to maneuver in. So you need to stay inside, not venture out. If your power is, is, goes out, of course, um, you need to take all the precautions that you can and do not try to go outside. Stay inside your home. Um, there are no uh, delays here at Hartsfield Airport. Obviously, nobody's going to be flying around right now. Uh, we're continuing to see the, uh, the wind, uh, wind be very gusty this afternoon. 30 to 35 mile an hour winds are being reported at the airport. Uh, 31 degrees at this time, and they are seeing sleet and some snow. And there's some pretty heavy turbulence, obviously, as this weather system uh, tracks across southeast Georgia and moves on into the Carolinas. We're going to update you all throughout this morning on all of the latest uh, snowfall amounts, wind conditions, and uh, when this tr storm tracks off into the Carolinas and heads up the northeast coast. Right now, there are lots of closings going on this weekend, events that were supposed to happen now are not going to. Here are the latest closings. We'll have an update for you in 30 minutes. Stay with us. We're going to continue with our snow coverage in just a moment. We'll be right back. system that has brought hurricane force winds to the Gulf Coast and some flooding. We'll have more on all that in just a minute. We're going to check on the weather with mm -hmm. Karen Minton, who's sitting in for David Channing this morning. All right, Mr. David Channing, you know where he is. Well, lucky for us that you're here. California. Yeah, it's great. It's really exciting, but folks, it also is a very dangerous situation. You really should not be out in the system. You should be at home, sitting in your houses and protected, because we have a lot of strong winds out there, gusts up to uh, 25 and 35 miles an hour, just so far, and the potential is even greater than that. We want to look at where the storm system has been, if we can, on our computer, and we can show you where everything is located. Here is, you can see the almost circular bands. This storm system is so 
strong, is so powerful that the pressure intensity of the storm system dropped down to 28.93. Now, for a lot of you, you don't quite understand what the blow pressure is, but the lower the pressure, the stronger the storm system, the tighter that the system is wrapping around itself. And it gives very strong and gusty winds as the system is almost like a hurricane, although it's not summer and it's not tropical. It is uh, very tightly wrapped as the thing is turning counterclockwise around its center and bringing with it cold air around the top coming down from the northern sections of the country and bringing all that moisture up from the Gulf of Mexico. It's just pouring into this thing and so snowfall is continuing to pile up. We do have snow amounts across North Georgia this morning that are uh, really kind of staggering. Right now we are expecting in the Cobb County area and all of metropolitan Atlanta much as 4 to 12 inches of snow during the day and possibly 40 to 50 mile an hour winds that means blowing and drifting snow winds strong enough that you can't get outside and walk around in it and it's going to even blow your car around on the highway so far these are snow amounts just in from the national weather service we're looking at 6 to 12 inches of snow so far that has fallen across that area and also 8 to 10 inches of snow in the northern suburbs, northwestern suburbs of Atlanta, 1 to 3 inches of snow in the southeastern suburbs. Uh, the, the weather has knocked down so many power lines, they can't even keep up with the count of how many customers are out. I called home and uh, we have no power at our house. Uh, we are glad that you have it at yours. Come here. Want to be on? Here we go. What's your name? Stefan. What are you doing out here? <laughs> Just having fun. <laughs> you came out in this for fun? Yeah. What do you I make thought it was this? fun, but it's not. You thought it's it would fun. be, and it's not. No, it isn't. Oh, it's not fun at all. It's too cold and it's too windy. You have for indoors? Back to it's fun. Yeah. All right. Well, so long. I hope you can have some fun somehow. <laughs> and now, even as we're looking down, I mean, this is incredible. He's going to disappear into the snow down here. Anyway, Georgia Power is saying there are so many down lines that uh, it is dangerous actually to be outside, not just because of the cold, but because of the down power lines and they are a real threat to people who are outside. We have also seen some people walking around, some of uh, people we assume are the homeless down here, uh, some drunks uh, who've been walking around very unprotected. There was one guy, real drunk, had no shirt on and I just hope that he has found some place to stay alive because I think he was in uh, serious danger. He walked off drunk before we could even stop him though. So it is a very dangerous situation out here. Uh, we are live in downtown Atlanta. I'm Jeff Door, Channel 2 Action News. Jeff, I know you talked with folks with Georgia Power earlier this morning. Any updated estimates on the number of people who are out of power? Because we've heard 300,000 in Alabama. How about here? No, uh, I have not been able to get a real update from them. Um, and so, uh, you know, that, that's, it's been a while. Like I say, they're having trouble with uh, just trying to get their people to the areas that, that are without power so that they can make their assessments. Okay, all right. Try and keep warm if you can, and we're going to check back later. So uh, jump in the car and we'll, we'll, be here. we'll see you later. All right. Thank you, Jeff. We're going to take a quick break right now, but please stay with us. We'll continue our Action News Stormwatch coverage for you. We'll be right back. <laughs> so the blizzard conditions will continue. By tonight, very cold. We're going to be dropping to 14 to 19. However, the winds will subside slightly to around 15 to 20, but the wind chill factors will be near minus 20 to minus 25 tonight and tomorrow. I want to go to the extended forecast just to show you that after we get by tonight and tomorrow, we get back into some sunshine, but it's going to be warming up to only 35 degrees. Then for Monday and Tuesday, we warm up into the 40s and 50s, and the low temperatures begin to move their way up. So the critical stage for the next several hours is going to be the snow that continues to linger around Metro Atlanta and the high winds as the blizzard warning continues for much of North Georgia. Expect wind gusts out of the northwest from 40 to 50 miles per hour to continue for most of today. We now go back to Amanda. All right, thank you, Paul. Trees and power lines block the road, stranding motorists for a while, but there were some good Samaritans. People who live in the neighborhood brought out chainsaws to clear the way as quickly as the branches were snipped off the road. Stranded motorists rolled up their sleeves to remove well, I think them. I've around five accidents, so I start to turn back because of that. So it's pretty bad on a, as far as uh, 85 uh, northbound. I know everybody know, you know they got to go where they need to go, so I figured, you know, it would be nice to just get out and help and get all the stuff out of the way so everybody can travel. Uh -huh. We just heard the tree hit and was cutting it down. 
and it is slow going on major interstates throughout the metro area. Drivers are warned to be careful, to be alert, and to just pay attention as they are driving. Of course, if you don't have to go out, drivers are urged to stay inside because it is incredibly dangerous outside, and the roads are very slip are slippery and very slick. Amanda, now Shola, you and hoping somehow to get Hartsfield back open by three o'clock this afternoon. That's the word. Uh, Delta is hoping for that to be the case. Other airlines here with less. It's much warmer. Yes, we're staying warm inside. But I'm you grateful for that. But you don't have the atomic fireball that, uh, <laughs> that, I'm, <laughs> that I'm eating here that Janet gave me. Well, I'm glad it's keeping you warm. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Johnny. You bet. Storm is threatening to bring severe winter weather to much of the south and east United States. Snow heavy in many areas from Georgia north to New England. Rain in the western Rockies and far out out here. They're having a hard time getting through. Yeah, they seem to be in good spirits about it all, but uh, they're right here at the BP station here at the corner of Spring and North Street. It doesn't have gas here at the station, but they are open for coffee, and, and there are a lot of people who've been stopping here, fortunately. As you can see, they're pushing them out. They have no choice at this point, do they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, they're happy. Success here. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. We have a lot of businesses closed. We just want to remind people that right. the Nevada City is closed in a lot of other places. So if, you, if you're expecting to come out and find something, you're not going to find a whole lot. <laughs> That's what we're going to do next, Donna. We're going to take a look at those cl cancellations and closings. Most everything has been closed. If you need to venture out, you may want to call. It's thundering. In Kansas. Employees at the Hyatt Hotel lowered a truck lift and used it as a makeshift snowplow Atlanta stock. This is the view up Peachtree Street going uh, south now.